Good morning, children of the Most High, and welcome to another beautiful day. Today is August the 4th, and our topic for today is Living on God's Word. That's right, you are tuned in to another session of Rhapsody of Realities. Our opening scripture is from the book of Luke, chapter 8, verse 25, and I read, And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they being afraid wondered, saying one to another, What manner of a man is this? For he commandeth even the winds and water, and they obey him. Hallelujah! A certain young man was deathly ill and thought he will die. On a certain Friday evening, he was brought to me. After explaining to me what the problems were, I said to him, See me on Sunday. Later on, as he shared his testimony, he said, When Pastor Chris said to me, See me on Sunday, I knew I wasn't going to die before Sunday because I will have to see him. He held on to the word to see me on Sunday. We ministered to him eventually and he was miraculously restored. That is how to live your life on the word of God. You take the word that's come to you from God and anchor your life on it. You live by it. It also brings to mind an experience between Jesus and his disciples on a certain occasion. He said to them in the book of Luke chapter 8 verse 22, let us go over onto the other side of the lake. During the sail, it became so stormy that the disciples were terrified and cried to the master saying, Master, Master, we perish! The master's response to them is what we read in our theme verse. He asked them, Where is your faith? His question wasn't about the winds and the storms. Rather, he was saying, I told you we are going to the other side, and if I said that, then we must arrive at the other side. Irrespective of the boisterous, tempestuous wind, we don't perish on the way. He was saying, you should have relied on my words. It makes no difference what's going on around you. Refuse to be agitated. Do not be flustered by the economic or political winds around you. Stay on God's word. Live your life on God's word. Stay your life on His word and know that until you have fulfilled it, nothing can stop you. Nothing can destroy you. Hallelujah. Go about God's business, preaching the gospel, unafraid and unintimidated. The greater one lives in you. Hallelujah. Repeat after me. The greater one lives in me. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this confession right after me. I am completely yielded to the ministry of the word. And through study and meditation, the word mingles with my spirit, producing in me the message it carries. I respond to situations and circumstances from the standpoint of the word. Therefore, I live victoriously every day. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Now, my brothers and sisters, as usual, I highly recommend you take some time today to study these following scriptures in order for you to further understand today's message. From the book of Luke, chapter 10, verse 19, from the book of Numbers, chapter 14, verse 9, the book of Psalm, chapter 22, verse 28, and the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 28. Hallelujah! Now don't forget to share this message to your world and tune in again tomorrow for another beautiful message. You are blessed. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe 
He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.